Hi guys, it's Amman UK here. Hope everyone's doing well. I'd like to wish you all a very happy Christmas and a happy new year. Uh, unfortunately, this will be the only video that I'll make now up until January because the festive season's kicking in and I'm going to be very, very busy over Christmas and the new year. Um, I hope you've all been good for Santa. Um, I hope you get plenty of presents and stuff and hopefully some ant gear. Also, um, I'd like to hear about what you're up to this Christmas in the comment section below. You know, it's kind of nice hearing what other people are up to. But me, I'm going to be cooking for family. I've got my turkey and stuff today. And also, I'm going to be probably getting drunk quite a lot. And pretty much going to suffer with a lot of hangovers and headaches probably over the festive season. But that's just how it is. You know what it's like, right? Anyway, guys, this is the latest footage of my Lacius Niger. Now, she's getting to the point now where she's got larvae. Now, I know for a fact that when it comes to January, this larvae will soon, probably quickly, turn into pupae. And after that, the first workers are going to arrive. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, I'm in UK, what should I do when my first worker ants arrive? Now, I'll just go over a few little things that we could talk about here and when your first worker ant arrives you want to just give it a day or so uh, takes time because when they come out of the pupae stage the white so once they've turned black or whatever color that the species is once they've changed color then you can start you want to start introducing food into the, to your test tube setup or your colony so it is simple you if you've got a test tube setup you get yourself a piece of tin foil and it acts like a serving plate and you put on that maybe some sugar water just to give it some energy for your new worker or some honey and that should give it a little boost in energy and then this worker then will start eventually looking after the other eggs over larvae and pupae of the queen and also caring for the queen but at this stage because the first worker has arrived the queen will start signaling or giving the chem chemical to tell the worker ants that she wants food so you're gonna have to start supplying the colony with food so like I said a small piece of tin foil okay and on the little tin foil is you can put honey a drop of honey water a drop of sugar water you could put some chicken maybe uh, maybe kill a mealworm and chop it up and put a piece of mealworm on there maybe some bit of cricket uh, some fruit or stuff like that you know it'll give it a nice energy boost also the proteins will be essential for the queen to reproduce eggs and it'll um, it'll it'll do it'll do really well so when your first worker ants arrives you want to start establishing the point of starting to feed your colony and providing them with sugar water and honey for energy anyway guys um, I hope I've covered that question for you all. Um, this obviously this footage is absolutely fantastic. I moved the lighting a bit today because I want to see uh, I want to see the the sort of colours of the queen ant, and you can see like this is the laziest Niger queen ant by the way, and you can see like there's like a reddish brownish on the back as well. Like most of the time when I've recorded it, we've been getting like an orange reflection, but because of the way I did the lighting, I was able to see some deep colours like deep browns, deep dark red. I don't know where the dark red was coming from. Uh, black, orange, yellow. <laughs> There's loads of colours. It's uh, it's incredible to see. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna let you enjoy the rest of the footage. And like I said before, I wish you all a happy Christmas and a happy New Year. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment below and I can't wait until after Christmas when I get my new setups for you guys and hopefully I'll have my surprise thing that I was talking about with you guys uh, but it's a bit of a surprise, so you're, never gonna know, you're not going to know what it is yet hopefully I'll have that set up in sometime, hopefully fingers crossed February and once that goes up um, you're going to be yeah, pretty much blown away by it <laughs> but I can't wait to put it all into action and get it going. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and yeah, have a great Christmas and my UK. Thank you.